Geometry students, and welcome to the lesson or the proof of the congruent complements theorem. And um, let's look at what this theorem says. If two angles are complementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. Okay, so some things that you're expected to know at this stage is what is uh, complementary angles and what uh, congruent means. Okay, so if we look at this statement, this is the hypothesis. Two angles are complementary to the same angle. So that means we need three angles altogether. Okay. And then, if that's true, then the two angles are congruent to each other. So, remember that in the hypothesis is our given statements. So, given that two angles are complementary to the same angle. And I'm just going to um, name these angles. Angle 1 is complementary or complement to angle 2. And then I need another angle, so I'll say angle 3 is also complement to angle 2. Then, in the conclusion, then they are congruent, and they here means these two angles. So, in the conclusion, or this is the statement that we want to show, that angles 1 and 3 are congruent to each other. Okay. So, whenever you see the formulation of a uh, theorem, saying something is an if-then statement, the if part is, or the hypothesis, the if part, is the given that you have, and so with those statements, you're expected to show the conclusion. Okay? So I'm going to do this using a two-column proof, so I'm going to need two columns, statements, and reason. So the first thing I know is that 1 is complement to 2. I'm going to name these statements 1. This is given. So what that means is that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. Okay. So 1 and 2 add up to 90, and this is the definition of complement. Then I can also use my other given that 3 is complement to 2. That's given. So that means angle 3, or the measure of angle 3, plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. Okay. So all I'm doing here is using the definition of the statements. And this is the definition of complement. As was above. Okay. Well now, if we look at these two statements, this statement and this statement, they are saying the exact same thing. Both of these statements are equal to 90 degrees so we can set them equal to each other. So now we can say measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 2. Okay. And again, this is allowable because they are both equal to 90. When you have two statements that are equal to the same thing, then they must be equal to each other. So I'm going to use, this is called the transitive property. Okay. And keep in mind, this is what we want to show, so as soon as I can get that, uh, we are done. So we're almost there. You see that there is a angle 2 and angle 2 on both sides. So if you subtract the measure of angle 2 from both sides, you end up with the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 3. Okay. And uh, this is the subtraction property. And we are done. This is what we wanted to show. I can write it another way. I can say angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Okay. Uh, and this is what we wanted to show. 
So we've noticed here in a two-column proof, we start out with the givens that's in the hypothesis, and then we work through these, uh, listing out the correct reasons to get down to the conclusion. And there you have it. Uh, the proof is complete, and this is a, a nice proof because it, you know, it's independent of the values. We don't know what measure angle one is. We don't know what angle two is. We just know they add up to 90 degrees. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Make sure you continue watching the rest of the videos for this lesson.